Time to go Amazonian style, right? Let's go to Amazon. Well, I was cruising on Amazon. And, uh, you know, I think I ordered a shop mat or something. You know, something practical. And then it was like, I wonder what the crazy knives are, you know? Where are the crazy knives? Because there are knives all over Amazon that are names you can't pronounce, kind of like this stuff. x talk <laughs> No, it's probably Zito. Uh, I don't know. Uh, X, what is it? She is XI. Isn't that Xi Jinping? XI. This is probably his brand, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. X T O U C. Made in China. What a surprise with a name like that. Okay, it's S 45 VN. See, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't even know the model number or anything on this knife, but uh, I just thought I'd put it on my channel because I'm completely insane. And this proves it now, so we've got that established. It's a D2 blade. It's micarta. Okay. And uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Of course, of course, my, my crazy driver, where's my bit for that? Oh, I know why, because I was I was doing the bear down on something because it wouldn't come loose, and I decided to get the fatter driver involved but yeah these are number eight yeah i didn't re i didn't forget these are number eights on here okay now that's that's not only embarrassing but it's humiliating isn't it especially let me show you this this will freak you out let me show you the paperwork to this insane thing uh on amazonian right x something t-o-u-c H O U C H. So it should have been X Touch, but no, maybe it is, but maybe it's Zito or whatever. I don't know. Uh, my car to handle. It's an EDC everyday carry for outdoor camping. Good for men, women, or whoever else. See, they're very inclusive in this. I love that. They got to hit every, uh, every search word. Uh, but the uh, model number is non existent. Apparently, $36.99. Wow, I can't believe they expect you to spend that much money. And hit this box for another 20% off. Are you kidding? And free delivery on a day that's already passed. <laughs> um, but when I probably when I post this, right? Um, but no, it, it arrived in a couple of days. So this is, does not ship from China, my friends. Prime member, you get free shipping. So I think I had to pay tax or whatever. You know, you got to do that. But extra, tw so what, 29 something dollars? Okay, yeah, and just for shits and giggles, let's kick through the rest of this. Pause and read because this will be a new ultra favorite. I'm sure it'll hit all the knife uh, blogs. Whatever. See, I always got to do this kind of crazy stuff. 59 to 61 HRC. Why didn't they say 49 to 84 HRC? They're likely to hit it somewhere in there. My card, uh, is that even D2? I don't know because I don't have an XRF analyzer. Anybody who wants to buy one and send it to me, feel free to do so. Uh, my email address is down there. I'll give you my shipping address. You can send me one of those. Because I decided I'd buy a car and a house instead of a $35,000 analyzer. Um, but, yes, you can use it for hunting, camping. So there's ex extra information here, which I'm boring you to death now. But you can pause and read. So, Or you can just go to the link I'm going to give you below for these lovelies. And then there was a guy when I posted on Instagram says... You can get it in titanium. And it's like, oh my God, Pee Wee Herman. Ha, I meant to do that. Um, there you go, ceramic bearings. You can, I, I want the camouflage one myself because I don't want the black blade. Otherwise, if this came with that, the, the satin blade, I'd be all over that. I'd be all over that. Okay, there's one more page and then we'll get back to the real world. That's if I can flip through the page. 
Okay, see, there's your length and blah, 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 and your weight. 100 grams, which ain't much, okay? So, uh, that's AliExpress, though. That's not Amazon. If it was on Amazon, I'd be all over that. But this one is a front flipper, top flipper, crazy flipper. It's insane flipper. Top flipper right here. And it's jimped. They even thought about doing that. Okay, so you can do that. Drop, drop. Pretty quick over the detent ball. So, see, it'll drop from there, right? Now, what's this? That's a front flipper, believe it or not. So, there you do with that. Okay, then that drops. Now, I did scare the shit out of myself because I hung back here too far. And when I did, the blade came flying around and went like that. That's not a good place to have the blade land if the blade is sharp and if you're on blood thinners. So don't do that, by the way. Um, is it sharp? Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Have I got several? I got. I knew there was a little drag going through that paper. It's like, whoo. Because I'll, I'll tell you what. This thing is borderline scary sharp out of the box. So does it matter if it's 3CR? Really? Um, I don't know. Uh, anymore, I don't know. But no, I mean, uh, back when I was testing, because I had a guy that could do that, I wasn't catching much of anybody that wasn't true to form on D2. So whether, you know, whether the heat treat's wonderful, I don't know. But we're talking $29. It's not like the end of the world, right? And it's a nice satin grind. It's sharp. There's your lockup. They're actually producing a blade that seems to be functional, this knife. I mean, it's got skeletonized liners. Uh, they're not nested. They're pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm not getting any blade player lock rock. I mean, I kind of played with the pivot a little bit, kind of backed it off, then put it back down to kind of just get the kind of drop I wanted. And look at the pocket clip. It's deep, ultra deep carry, right? But it bounces up and then flattens out here, which is kind of nice because it this goes over the lip of the pocket nicely. And there's a lot of knives that have a clip like that, except none that I've got sitting here on the damn table. Of course not. No, of course not. Okay. <sighs> yeah, they're all like that, except I can't find one on the table. Um... But you can flip it from one side to another. You got that little blocker plate in there. And it's like, whoa. And lanyard hole. But number eight, and they, they look like machined, you know, nice. They're not the little cheap cappy looking things. Like I just showed you probably on the ones I pulled out. But um, yes, no, I didn't show you because, no, actually these, well, these are kind of cheap. They're number eights, but they're kind of cheapy. This is that. Synesis or whatever from uh, Civivi, but uh, it comes in a very simple box and they give you a little tool in here because they know you're a tool for buying it and uh, a microfiber cloth. And it's brand new, brand new, still in the package. Going to keep it that way too, I think, for a while. Uh, you know, I'd hate to you know, unnecessarily harm such a beautiful piece of cutlery genius like this. But actually, I mean, all jokes aside, I got it because I thought, uh, I liked, I mean, I, I like the design. It just struck me. I like this pivot. Don't you like that big, round, crazy moon, full moon sitting there? I, I don't know, but for some reason in this configuration, it looked cool, and uh, compared to some of the other insanity they have on uh, on Amazon. But, you know, they got Sativian knives. Well, actually, they got everything. I mean, you can buy Civivi, Sencut, Kaiser, whatever on Amazon. But, uh, but they have all kinds of knives with names you can't pronounce. Uh, this is blade to handle length is good. Design flow is good. 
Actually, to tell you the truth, guys, I think somebody could do a YouTube channel of nothing but Amazon knives, right? I, I think it'd keep you busy. I think you could post a review every day. Uh, every day, 365 of the year. And not ever run out of, uh, you know, of, uh, I you know, knives. Uh, there's just so many all the time and new models coming out continuously. So, no, nah, not a problem. Um, but this one's not a big, huge knife, and uh, it's not very heavy either. So let's get down to those facts. Uh, the ergos seem pretty decent. Three and a half ounces, and I think that may have been on that page I was showing you as well. 99 uh, grams. And let's kick the, kick the tape out here. Okay, so like three and a quarter inch blade. So it's not a three and a seven. And it's seven and three eighths overall, which is about 18 and a half, 18.6 centimeters. Okay, so what about 82 millimeter length blade? And just because it's a thing, I do. Uh, 13.8 at 0.54. Okay. 0.54. That's that's kind of a handful. It's thicker than I thought. 0.13, three and a half millimeter blade stock. So a lot of the blade stock anymore is three millimeter, even two and a half millimeter. Three and a half millimeters, a little unusual. And 5.4 is a little thicker than a lot of knives too. So <clears throat> Looks like it's got uh, just, well, I was going to say, no, that's not natural G10. That's just a regular, you know, green G10 backspacer with micarta scales. I don't know if it's got ceramic bearings. We're going to find out. Um, ergos are good. I mean, I feel good. Uh, there's this, this, this. Uh, one thing I noticed on this knife that kind of bugs me is there's not really a big differential in height here. So th they could have cut this back a little and exposed this more. So it'd be easier to pass across here and disengage this log bar. But since they're about this, they're exactly the same height, you kind of got to dig your flesh in here. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that if, if they don't give you and it it also has this hold on kind of that drop and then second okay do you see that that but it's not over now i pushed a little bit more so the initial if you push hard they still see that dink dink drop drop and then it's over so it's i don't know what that is you see it in rapid succession when i did it like that there, there's an all-in-one. But so, I don't know what that is. Um, it's got a little bit of jimping up here. And so, this is cut away here. Your thumb kind of drops down into this position. You've got a little choil here. Uh, I can't fault it. I just thought the design was really cool. And then somebody said, oh, they have them in titanium. And I'm going, that looks interesting too. So it wasn't just this strange, lonely, weird knife that was there. They're actually got that same design going on on AliExpress in titanium. And I didn't look in Amazon to see if I could find this in titanium. So you might want to do that. But I have a feeling you're subjugated to AliExpress if you want to do that, which I've got no problem with that. It's just, I order from AliExpress pretty frequently, but it's just, you know, waiting for the shipment. You know, it's going to take, you know, three to six weeks, whatever, you know, whatever it takes, depending on what's going on. So yeah, lockup's pretty fair though. That's pretty decent. And uh, it's lightweight, easy carry, not too big, not too small. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, the plunge looks symmetrical. 
You know, I mean, I don't find any major faults with it, especially for a Ganzo knife price. So let's let's see if it gives me a Ganzo knife type of disassembly. Oh, and here we go with this. And of course, I had already spun this, but you know what? It the first time I spun it off, it it came off real easy. So uh, let's see these. I haven't done these. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. And. Uh, this acrylic driver, um, uh, I, <clears throat> I thought this would be just as good as any driver, but really one thing that's a big plus on this, which is just the cheap, garbagey, bargain basement thing I found on clearance on a Ross dress for less rack, but you can find them on Amazon stuff. But, and it ratchets, by the way. But it's the fact that it's that grippy neoprene or rubbery type substance and it's bulbous fatness, which gives you a lot more that you can bring to bear on uh, a, a, a screw that just doesn't want to come unscrewed. And it has more heft, more, more. And so do these, the good screwdrivers. These have more heft and with this pineapple, Fin, you know, uh, shape here, the frag, that gives you more grip too. So this has its limitations, but as long as things go well, then they go well and it's not a big deal. Um, and here we go. There's, I mean, there's some degree of weight reduction, skeletonized, and it's uh, so far ceramic. Now we got the the washer sitting on top of the bearings obviously okay and it's a really thin washer and then here's our bearing ring and it's not ceramic but i mean really uh i don't really find that to be troublesome or an issue and let's look at this okay so yeah we can unscrew that Pop that out, bring it to the other side. Hold on. Now let's, now let me see. So we do have a captured pivot. They have gone to the trouble of squaring that off. And, uh, and then I don't, I, I'm going to have to push this out to get these off. And here's this. So we're good there, um, really. And then, of course, there's the washer. And see, here's the liner. And, of course, squared off spot there because it's a captured pivot. Backspacer. I mean, it looks as, you know, it looks like any other knife that could be even up to $75, $85, $100, really. I mean, micarta, whatever, doesn't it? I mean, uh, skeletonized liners, you know, blah, 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 captured pivot, mm, nice, decent bearings, uh, that kind of thing. I mean, to me, I guess I'm just a generalist, but I don't see any specifics other than uh, there's a little discoloration here, maybe from hitting that, grinding that a little bit, but I don't think it that... That heat transpired, if that was done after heat treat and after tempering, then I, I still don't see that it would have been hot enough on this blade to change the way that is or whatever. So, now I don't, I don't see any problems that I can detect. So, what, what uh, say you boys? Uh, I just think it's interesting to check out some of these knives. I don't know. Um... Uh, gets old with the same old, same old, you know, usual suspects, especially in the, in the budget series. I mean, really there, you know, you, you, there's so many knives being designed and then OEM'd in China and coming back under various and the sundry different people that you could stay busy getting those knives if you want and those are you know 
maybe $285 or, you know, at least $250 to $450 in price. But I'm just talking about budget. So in the budget knife series, eh, you know, it, it there's not as much diversity maybe, especially with U.S. designers OEMing, you know. Uh, so this is kind of it's kind of fun. You know, you never know what you're going to get. And then again, you don't have a lot invested. Take care, my friends. Yes, we got the X-Touch. <laughs> I should have called it that all along. Uh, knife. And uh, just thought I'd throw it out there and you can do the same. But we do love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.